Hello, good morning everyone. How are you all today? Okay, today um, we're going to uh, learn new topic. Yes, uh, we're going to learn about shapes. So, um, more in depth, okay, our students, okay, we, our objective today is you be able to recognize the square prism rectangular prism and triangular prism and the second one is you should be able to describe and label okay the square prism rectangular prism and triangular prism according to surfaces base vertices and edges this is are the proper these are all the properties of the prism and number three is to compare uh, prism object and non-prism objects according to surfaces with vertices and edges okay so if you have your textbook with you you can open your textbook and turn to page 85 okay so this is a picture here uh and uh a show yeah so there's a clown here saying ladies and gentlemen on this triangular prism is on yet okay so they'll give a big round of applause okay so so he mentioned here that the monkey is standing on a triangular prism so before this okay uh in year two we learned that this or in year one is so opposite we have learned that this is a prism right but we don't uh, in that what shape what particular prism it is so if you can see here it says that it is a triangular prism yes it's a triangular prism why it is a triangular prism is anybody knows why they call it as a triangular yes because of its surfaces here okay you can see here okay this has a triangular shapes where the monkey stands on right yes so so because of this side okay um surface we can say that it's a triangular surface as triangular prism and then this boy said, wow, the elephant is dancing on a cube. So normally we call this as a cube, right? Okay, in 3D shapes. But, okay, the boy said also a cube is a square prism. So this is a prism as well. But it's because of the surfaces, it's a square shape. Okay, if you can see here, it's a square shape. So they call it as a square prism. And they said, the girl said, the clown is standing on a cuboid. Okay, so what is cuboid? It's a prism as well. Okay, so cuboid is a prism as well. But what um, shape of prism it is? Okay, so square is already have in cube, already taken by cube. So for a cuboid, we call it as a rectangular prism yes it's a rectangular prism you can see here the side okay it's a more rectangle shape there are more rectangle shape in this cuboid there are more uh, triangular shape in a triangular prism and more square shape in a square prism okay so let us look at the second page the next page okay so here uh, it says i'm a cube you can call me the square prism so cube also known as square prism okay so there are properties here that students must understand must know okay so what is a vertex what is vertex vertex adalah bucu okay so the vertex is the sharp uh, edges. Okay, yang mana bertemu dan tajam tu kita panggil vertex. 
Okay, and then second, the blue color, flat surfaces, permukaan rata. This is the flat surfaces. Okay, age. Apa tu age? Okay, flat surfaces, permukaan rata ya. Yeah? Permukaan rata. Okay, age. What is age? Age ni CC. Okay, how many ages? Okay, base. Okay, base dia tapak. Okay, base is tapak. So, bila, uh, when we want to know that this is the properties uh, of a square prism, six flat surfaces. Macam mana six flat surfaces tu? Dekat sini. One, two. Okay, depan sana three. Tapi sini four, five and six. So, masuk base tu, ada enam permukaan rata. Add vertices yang tajam. So, one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, lepas tu depan sana lagi, 8. Okay? And 12 ages. Ages tu terpisi. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ada 12 ages. Uh, if you want to see more, okay, awak boleh take any objects in your house. Um, Apa tu? Contohnya kotak uh, tisu. Okay, tisu box. Okay, yang dalam bentuk uh, cube. Or any toys that you may have in your house. Okay, so that you can uh, count, okay, the uh, vertices, the edges, okay, and the flat surfaces. Okay, right. So, dengan itu, you can uh, see more in that. Okay, number uh, the second uh, prism. I am a cuboid or rectangular prism. Okay, so cuboid equals to rectangular prism. So same, it has vertex, edge, base, and flat surfaces. So flat surfaces ni yang ni ni. Okay, yang rata. So one, two, three. 4, 5, 6. Ada 6. Vertices ni bucuk. Kalau satu we call as vertex. Kalau banyak we call as vertices. Okay. So vertex dengan vertices ni maksud yang sama. Vertex untuk satu kalau banyak jadi vertices. So ada berapa vertices? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Ada 8. So ages dia berapa? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Jangan lupa tepi sana. 8. And then, dia ada lagi. 9, 10, 11, 12. Ada 12 ages. Okay? Alright. So, uh, square prism and rectangular prism okay, has, have the similar properties ada benda yang sama tapi only that dia punya surfaces in a square shape yang ni nampak tak ni ah dia punya surfaces ni the flat surfaces surface ah uh, is a square shape while a cuboid or rectangular prism dia punya flat surfaces ni more to rectangular okey dia punya bentuk cuma dia punya properties almost the same lebih kurang sama Okay, number three. I am a triangular prism. Okay, so triangular prism. Okay. Nampak sini, vertex dia ada, flat surfaces pun ada, edges pun ada, base pun ada. So, berapa uh, flat surfaces for a uh, triangular? So, this one. Okay. This side ada satu. Sebelah, tepi sana dua. Tepi sini tiga, empat, lima. So, ada five flat surfaces. Vertices, okay, vertex dia ada berapa? 1, 2, 3, okay, sebab dia macam ni kan? So, 3, 4, 5, and 6, ada 6. Ages dia? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, berapa ages dia? Okay, so again lah, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, and then, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ada 9 ages. 
Okay. Okay. So these are the uh, the uh, properties for prism. Okay. When a prism is cut, okay, it still has the same shape. Okay. The cut sini lah ada perbezaan prism and non prism. Tadi prism ada tiga je kan? So a prism, okay. Dengar, this is very important, students. Okay, to know characteristic for a prism. Ini characteristic dia, ya, properties dia. Has five or more flat surfaces. Nampak tak dekat tadi? Dia kata dia, dia mesti ada lima atau lebih flat surfaces. For triangular, lima kan? Ha. For a rectangular, enam kan? Ha. For a square prism, six also. So, a, a prism must have Five or more flat surfaces. Lima ke atas flat surfaces. Okay. And then, yang kedua, the second one, it has two opposite surfaces of the same shape and size. Each called the base. Okay, apa tu base tadi tu? Permukaan uh, tapak dia. So, the base must be must have two opposite surfaces the same shape. Contohnya, maksudnya mesti sama. Kalau base dia is uh, this one, okay, uh, square, dekat atas pun dia mesti sama. Uh, bertentangan dia tu sama uh, bentuk. Okay, same goes to a cube, sama bentuk bertentangan dia. Same goes to the uh, triangular prism. Nampak tak base dia ni in a uh, triangular. Dekat depan dia ni pun triangular juga. So, the berhadapan dia tu, Mesti sama bentuk. Contoh macam ni kan. Ah, This is the base. Okay. Depan dia pun base macam ni. Bila dia sambung, dia jadi uh, triangular prism. Tapi ni base dia. Base dia. Mesti bertentangan sama. Okay. And has no curve. Ah, Yang ni sangat penting. Maksudnya prism is a non-curve surfaces. Maksudnya dia hanya ada flat surface. Nampak tak dekat sini? Ah, Semua flat. Flat maksudnya rata. Tak ada yang uh, lengkung. Okay. No curve surface. Tak ada permukaan melengkung. All flat only. So, bila kita lihat dekat sini. Ha, sapphire. Ni, sapphire. Silinder. Nampak tak? Ni, sapphire melengkung. Silinder melengkung. Piramid tak melengkung. Okay. Corn melengkung. So, that's why 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 ni is a non prism ini semua bukan prism non prism because satu salah satu contoh prism mesti non curve so ini curve kan melengkung kan okey so ini bukan and then uh, ciri kedua okey uh, okey five or more flat surfaces ini uh, tak ada tak ada uh, flat surfaces ini semua curved surfaces Silinder. Okay, nampak tak silinder ni? Okay, kalau silinder, okay, dia macam ni kan? Okay. Okay. Dekat sini is a curved surfaces. Ini curve, lengkung. Tapi, dekat atas yang uh, circle ni, circle shape, ini adalah uh, flat. Okay, dua ni flat surfaces. Tapi, hanya ada dua. Two flat surfaces only for a cylinder. Nampak tak tu? Ah, but dalam ciri-ciri uh, prism in a uh, prism characteristic must be five or more. Dekat sini kurang kan? Ha, only two. So that's why cylinder falls under non-prism. Okay, pyramid. Okay, pyramid. Okay, kita lihat pyramid pula. They said pyramid is a non-prism. Tapi, okay, you see py pyramid has no surface uh, curve. Semua ni bukan curve kan? Okay, all is a flat. Okay, how many flat surfaces untuk pyramid? So, let us look into pyramid. Okay, berapa kita nak uh, flat surfaces dia ya? So, kita ada belakang 1, depan 2, 3, 4, bawah, base dia 5. Okay, so dia termasuk 5 uh, or more flat surfaces. Okay, so the first one, dia um, masuk. Second, Two opposite surfaces on the same shape and size. Maksudnya berhadapan ni, bertentangan ni, mesti base dia. Tengok ni base. Ini base dia. Tapak dia kan. Is the base the same in the opposite? 
Ah, nampak tak tapak dia ni? Tapak dia is a square shape. Tapi depan dia ni is a vertices. Ah, so the opposite surface not the same shape or size. So dia tak boleh uh, kategori sebagai prism. Okay, so that's why it falls under non-prism sebab depan dia ni okay, bertentangan dengan base dia ni bukan sama size atau sama bentuk. Okay, ah, alright, so that's the characteristic for pyramid. Okay, cone pun sama. You see, cone base dia circle tapi opposite dia tu ah, ah, tak ada, bukan circle. Okay, ha, macam ni kan dia. Dia ada vert vertices. So, ni tu sebab cone also is a non-prism object. Okay, so let us see the characteristic. Okay, so fire. Five or more flat surfaces? No. Two opposite surfaces? No. Non-curved surfaces? It's a curved surfaces. So, no. Cone? Okay, pun sama. Ada tak flat? Uh, surfaces. Berapa flat surfaces dia? Ada satu je. One only kan? Ah, So, dia tak. Two opposite. Bertentangan tu sama tak bentuk? Tak. So, wrong. No curve. Ada curve. Yang ni curve surfaces. Okay. So, wrong. Pyramid. Five. Yes. Okay. Memang dia ada lima uh, flat surfaces. Tapi, two opposite surfaces tak? Tak. Tengok opposite dia. Satu uh, uh, square base. Tapi depan dia uh, uh, tajam. Uh, so, not the same base. Not same shape. Non-curve. Is it a non-curve? Betul. It's semua flat surfaces. Tapi salah satu dia tak. So, bila salah satu tidak. So, it falls under non-prism. Terus. Okay. So, yang ni betul. Ini salah. Ini betul. Tapi bila ada satu salah. Satu tak ikut peraturan. So, dia masuk dalam kategori non-prism. Baik. Silinder. Okay. Silinder tadi teacher or I have explained to you. Yeah. Is it a, a flat? Yes. Okay. Uh, but ada tak five or more? No. Ada dua sahaja kan? Teacher dah explain tadi dekat sini. Okay. Flat surface dia, dia ada dua je. One in, one in, uh, for the uh, circle. Shape. Okay. One and two. Two sahaja. So, tak. Two opposite surfaces. Sama tak? Uh, dia punya base ni. Betul sama. Okay. Dua-dua ni sama. One is circle. One is circle shape. Betul sama. Okay. Untuk silinder. Bagi opposite shape tu sama. Non-curve. Salah. Dia ada curve. Dia ada flat surface. So, dia ada curve surface. Tapi, salah satu ni adalah... Salah dua antaranya tu salah. So, dia pun tak masuk dalam uh, non, uh, tak, tak masuk dalam kategori prism. Okay? So, sapphire, cone, pyramid and cylinder are non-prism shapes. Okay. Now, let us see the fun project. So, this is what you should do. Okay? Build a map or chart as given below. So, nanti balik rumah. ah Balik rumah. Dekat rumah dah pun kan. So, dekat rumah nanti. Try to do this mind map. Okay. Letak prism. Okay. Tengah-tengah shape. Shape ada dua jenis. Prism and non-prism. So, dekat prism tu apa yang prism. So, we have draw. ha huh? Lukiskan. Triangular prism. Square prism. Rectangular prism. Okay. Dekat non-prism pula ada empat. Pyramid. Cone, sapphire and cylinder. Okay. So, yeah. So, I have a video here that I want to show you. Uh, video ni, cikgu dapat daripada scan yang di sini. So, if you have a mother's phone, you can scan your textbook and get this video as well. But I'm going to share with you since I have my, I have downloaded it. So, let us look at the video. It's a prism. A prism. What is a prism? A prism has five or more flat surfaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
there are two opposite sides of the same shape. This side and that side or this side and that side or this side and that side. There are no curved surfaces. When a prism is cut, the shape remains the same. Example So one of the characteristic of a prism, okay, if you cut them also, the shape remain the same. Okay, so this uh, teacher cut the rectangular prism into small pieces. What you get in the small pieces is still a rectangular prism. It doesn't change the shape. Yeah. The shape remains the same. This is a cylinder. Let's cut the cylinder. The cylinder has the same shape, but a cylinder is not a prism because it has a curved surface. Remember, one of the criteria for a prism, okay, is not non-curved surfaces. Okay, so although a cylinder, when you cut it, is still the same shape as cylinder, but because of it is a curved surface. It has curved surface, so we don't put it under prism, yeah? What about sphere? Think about it. Okay, so I want you to try out, okay, make a mo uh, model of sphere. You can use your, um, what do you call this? Tanaliyad, uh, okay, you can use. Uh, that and then make a model of a uh, sphere okay and then cut them and see what you can get is the same shape comes out from it or other shapes okay so another video uh, which I want you to see okay so yes this one Maddie has chocolates. She likes the shape of these chocolates. Do you know these shapes? This one is a prism. What is the shape of this chocolate? This is a sphere. It is a non-prism. Do you wonder how to differentiate a prism from a non-prism? If you know their properties, you can differentiate them. If you cut a prism, you have a cross section. The inside shape of the prism remains the same. But if you cut a non-prism, its cross section looks different. Here are some other properties of a prism. It has more than five flat surfaces. The opposite surfaces are flat. Here are the other properties of a non-prism. A non-prism has a curved surface. It does not have opposite surfaces with the same shape. The prisms are generally triangular, rectangular, and square in shape. A cylinder, cone, pyramid, and sphere are non-prisms. Okay, so um, they all form one. There's a thing that I want to share with you. 
And the second one is another video. Hi! All the okay, I want you to see is to identify. Okay, so this is the properties. Maddie loves chocolate. Maddie noticed that the chocolate is flat on all sides. Do you wonder what shape her chocolate bar is? This shape is a prism. A prism is a three-dimensional or 3D shape with identical sides and flat faces. The cross section is the same all along its length. A prism is made of edges, flat faces, vertices, and a base. Can a prism have another shape? Of course! Cheese cubes and gift boxes are prisms. There are three types of prisms. The square prism, rectangular prism, and triangular prism. Here are a few important properties of these prisms. Yeah, so um, that's about it. Okay, so we have learned um, all the characteristics of a prism and a non-prism. Okay, so uh, please do your mind map. Okay, and um, try to answer my quiz later on. Okay, so that's all for today. Uh, thanks for joining me in my class today. I'm Teacher Stella signing off. You take care at home and learn from home. Okay, enjoy your class. Bye!